And our spiritual gifts are powers that can be activated in any Christian who desires them. But in scripture, spiritual gifts are given by the Holy Spirit to individuals as he alone decides. The teaching that miraculous powers can be activated in every Christian is actually a common our teaching. And one way they would say that every believer, like all of us here, could um, be activated uh, in order to work miracles is to take part in something they call activation exercises. That's another uh, NAR buzz phrase. So I'm going to show you two actual activation exercises promoted by Bethel Church in Reading, um, blindfolded prophesying and prophetic uno. So this first one, a blindfolded prophesying, was promoted by the Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry on their uh, school planning Facebook page. So for those who don't know, have, have you guys heard of Bethel School of Supernatural Ministry, anyone? Okay. It's a three-year full-time school in Redding, California, where college-age students enroll to learn to become miracle workers. Um, so, you know, here at Alaska Bible College, um, you're studying the Bible, you're learning theology, you know, these kind of things. There, the students actually enroll so they can learn to prophesy, heal the sick, raise the dead. Um, in fact, BSM, SM, BSSM students have referred to their own school fondly as Christian Hogwarts. That's something they call their school, named after the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry in Harry Potter. Um, but in this exercise here that was being taught to BSSM students, they're taught to prophesy by pairing up with another student who is blindfolded. So they are told to blindfold one person and place another person in front of them. The person who is blindfolded should then prophesy over the person in front of them without knowing who it is. So the blindfolded student is supposed to say whatever pops into their head is a prophetic word for the person in front of them. And they're told not to filter their words. Their words should only be pot, but their words should only be positive and encouraging. Um, but nowhere in scripture do we see people being taught to prophesy in this way or the promotion of activation exercises. This is another prophetic activation exercise, also promoted on the Bethel School of Supernatural Ministries, uh, plan, uh, their, their school planning Facebook page. So they actually plant school these, these schools of supernatural ministry that are patterned after their school in churches throughout the nation and around the world. Um, so on their Facebook page, though, they promoted something called Prophetic Uno. And this is uh, how it works. It says, grab some Uno cards, a few of each color, and place them in the middle of the group. Have your students take turns going around the circle, turning over the next card. Follow the instructions below as what to do with that particular color card. This exercise is best with groups of six to eight students. Color instructions. So if you draw a red card, you give a prophetic word to the person on your left about their financial situation. If you draw a green card, you give a prophetic word to the person on your right about their relationship with someone close to them. If you draw a blue card, you give a prophetic word to the person opposite about something that concerns them. Yellow, you choose to give who you give a prophetic word to in the group about their career or employment or job. If you draw two cards, you can give any two people in the group a prophetic word about their identity. If you draw four cards, you can choose four people to give you a prophetic word. Or wild card, choose whether you give a prophetic word to someone about their destiny or choose someone to give you one about your destiny. So you can see the NAR leaders are claiming to teach people to operate in biblical spiritual gifts. They say these are what the gifts of the Spirit are uh, that we see in like in Corinthians. But NAR spiritual gifts are counterfeit. Um, and NAR spiritual gifts are powers that can be activated in any Christian who desires them. But in Scripture, spiritual gifts are given by the Holy Spirit to individuals as He alone decides. We know that from 1 Corinthians 12, 11. So this concept of activation is a new novel teaching that has more in common with new age talk, like uh, talk of um, psychics, like where they seek to activate psychic or healing powers in themselves. And in fact, in the new age movement, books and courses, um, classes abound that actually promise to help people learn to activate or unlock or awaken their psychic gifts. Um, but shockingly, NAR leaders actually acknowledge these similarities. Uh, they actually claim that the New Agers stole these practices from Christians, that these were Christian, these were practices that the early church had and knew and were taught and practiced, and um, somehow they were lost along the way. 
uh, but that Christians, uh, the global church must reclaim these practices. We must redeem them and reclaim them in order to have tools we need to bring God's kingdom to earth. But of course, the global church has never taught activation. So in the name of teaching Christians to activate spiritual gifts in themselves, they've introduced Christians to spiritually dangerous, occult-like practices that are expressly forbidden by God in Scripture. For example, in Deuteronomy 18, 9 through 12. Um, but as I mentioned, many other schools of supernatural ministry patterned after the one in Reading um, and using their curriculum have been started in churches. And so they're spreading these, these teachings uh, throughout the world. So be on guard against any books, courses, or conferences promising to teach you how to prophesy or work other miracles.